What's going on everyone? It's Ricky with Tactical Solutions. Hope that you guys are all having an amazing Thursday and what an interesting setup that we got today. I don't know if you guys noticed, uh, but the overall market has been trying to push up after today and this follows after yesterday's very bearish performance. Uh, we saw a very aggressive pullback. We hit pretty much this double bottom and now we're beginning to indicate signs somewhat of an uptrend. Again, overall direction is still super unclear and it kind of brings up the question of like, is now the time that you should and go all in right is now the time that you want to buy something to make overall recoveries and again we're still entering this election period that should bring a lot of inconsistencies and a lot of volatility so that might be one of the reasons that you might be struggling to trade or invest in a couple different things right now just due to the unclear direction you know but just about two to three weeks ago we were showing very consistent signs of an uptrend right or very consistent signs of when something sells off it pulls back and the direction is at least clear right now for the past two weeks we've kind of just been consolidating all over the place the market's been choppy a lot of inconsistencies a lot of good news a lot of bad news and stuff like tesla right tesla experienced a very aggressive pullback yesterday i made a video talking that i bought more tesla wanted to provide you guys with a quick little update i'm not buying tesla to trade it i'm buying tesla to invest in it uh, so one of the things that i want to talk about as of right now is just like we saw last time when it pulled back it sold off very aggressively again patterns tend to repeat themselves they do not always have to play out according to plan but once it sold off very aggressively and this was after it bottomed out it ended up testing the ema line for a potential reversal and we've talked about this many times and this is kind of where we're at right now and that's why i'm talking about it we sold off we began to consolidate and then we broke above the ema line and then we got proper confirmation of an uptrend and that's essentially what i'm waiting for now if we get that confirmation right now my position size isn't anything crazy I wanted to update you guys ignore the pnl on the day it doesn't make a difference that's not actually what i'm up it's on the open what I'm actually up, you know, if you do my average purchase price and then you do the number of shares that I have um, right now with Tesla, I'm only up about $400 on my open position. I would love to buy more Tesla when we get proper confirmation of that overall uptrend. Uh, and that's why you guys see all my alerts being set up for the break above the EMA line. Because like we've said before, investing and trading in the stock market are never easy right and if you're getting started or you want to learn more about the stock market i hope that you know that i hope that we set that expectation that nothing in life worth having should ever come easy and in my experience the stock market is no exception once we get proper confirmation for the breakup of the ema line i'll probably be buying another 50 shares putting me in for about forty thousand dollars and then i'll only be adding more as it indicates signs of an uptrend because like we said again stock market is never easy but it's much easier to be able to invest and trade in the stock market when the overall direction is a little bit more clear and one of the things that i did very well today is the market's performance was not too bad today uh it started off kind of weird uh and again this is where we're at as of right now this is forward slash nq this is a nasdaq future so when this thing goes up tqqq goes up and right when the market opens at 6 30 we saw a very aggressive push up a very aggressive pullback, very aggressive recovery, very aggressive pullback, and very aggressive recovery. And then to finish the day off, it gave back pretty much everything that it gained throughout the day. So I don't know if everyone performed exceptionally well. Uh, direction was choppy. We then began to make lower lows and lower highs. But I pretty much stopped trading right around 10 to 11 once it was already indicating signs of an uptrend. And luckily, because I probably would have been caught on the bad side of this. So this is forward slash NQ. And with TQs alone, I was able to make a solid $2,200 profit following with my nearly $2,000 profit day yesterday. I'm going to pretty much be leaving it at that. I'm very excited to follow up with Tesla and let me know in the comment section. So what does the stock need to do to meet your criteria for you to want to invest more money into it? You guys can comment that down below. I'm waiting for the break above the EMA line. I'm waiting for higher highs and essentially I'm waiting for it to do what it did just last week and push up and begin to indicate signs of an uptrend. And if you look at the percentage potential for profit, then we're nearly at around 16 to 17%. So I'm very excited to follow up with it. I would love to keep you guys up to date. You guys let me know in the comment section if you guys are over these videos. Let me know if you guys would like to stay updated. Then again, I'll keep making them. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope that we earned your thumbs up. Don't forget to stay connected. We do run one of the largest 
free Facebook group for those who trade in the stock market. And if you want to connect with over 291,000 members, then again, click that first link down below. And we'd love to have you join our free Facebook group. Also, if you guys would like to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow at Market Open, click the second link down below and you can learn a little bit more about the Learn Plan Profit Group, which is, of course, the only group that I work with and trade live with every single morning. I appreciate you guys' time and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy, team.